Hello, this is Haku Debeen, and I am here with r slash Templar for as long as the internet stays up, because today the internet is assigned to just be as finicky as uh, Ice Parkour in Twilight Princess. If you don't know what that means, that's because you've never seen in it. Every time. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and uh, Subscribe to the channel. Let's see what's new on r slash tumblr, where we tumble way too much. Hmm. I love that Twitch does the stream points thing, and that so many streamers have like basic self care stuff as their lower or tier point redemptions. Like, frick yeah, I will make my fave stress artist streamer check their posters stretch for a full minute. Yes, I will make the anxious gamer drink water as many times so that I can redeem my points during your stream. <laughs> Parasocial relationships aren't healthy. I am literally watering and exercising my streamer regularly, not to mention the diversity of enrichment audio I give them. No, I don't see my fave streamer as my best friend. More like a Nintendo. <laughs> this is why I'm not gonna stream on Twitch. You are not going to water me like the house plant. You were dare to water me like the house plant? Jail for viewer! Jail for viewer for 100 years! <laughs> Massachusetts is terrifying because one of these guys is possessing a drag event and the other one is supporting his trans kids, and there's literally no way to tell which is which. Local Twitter user comes to terrifying realization that someone's physical appearance does not always I indicate their political beliefs. The way that they're saying this is specific to Massachusetts. Damn, some old white guys are bigots and some are allies. Spooky, you can't tell which one is the good guy based on appearance. Like all my Disney movies. Um, I'm sorry, but literally all the bad guys in Disney movies are just... Gay people? They are, 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 are queer quoted, that's the point. You would not believe your ass if 10 million largemouth bass. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing something incredibly cursed. Let's check it out. Imagine going to a party in the white suburban stay at home mom. I'm with two overachiever kids and my dad who barbecues but doesn't know how to barbecue. It's always surrounded by other white dads who come in his barbecue, even though they just store about free shaped frozen patties like wraps or food for less. I was cooking the white. Well, of course, I says, okay, kids, here's a pizza. As you roll this out, it's like telling the kids why it's a fun pizza. And in Christ, their master veteran, no one likes it or finishes it. The white dad is then consoling her why she's. who stops as she's a terrible old, old mother and ruined her fourth grade straight B plus. At set and, and his birthday and thinks her kids hate her, but they don't care. But she continues crying stuff into her pillows while the children eat poorly cooked burgers with unmelted craft singles and too much. much mayo. Anais and the other comments are two pickles and pepper because the dad calls it a special burger with a secret spice. That spice was just pepper and kids. It's just keep playing e ray games on Nintendo Wii while the 17 year old sister starts cleaning the tragedy up and throwing away uneaten fun pizza and whole burgers subjected from the start. While she dials pizza to get these kids an actual birthday lunch. And the butter. <laughs> this is way too specific. Then throws a fit because the daughter did something kids liked and she didn't and was the only one making a huge deal out of it. And the daughter was in grad from her TV in her room for only two days and the son went to blow out the candles and the sand birthday cake from um, Food for Less and Mom add strawberries to so she could feel she did something. It was still slightly teary 
Ian said because her day was ruined by no one wanting to eat her fun pizza. This was this is way too specific. Do you need to talk? No kidding. What the heck is going on? Do y'all know where the phrase eat the rich comes from? Or do you just repeat it because you heard it somewhere? I mean, I have definitely the second one. It's not a bad thing. I just saw someone saying we would never or said and who would eat the rich. And it was a lot of y'all might not uh, have heard the full quote. It's from Rousseau and it's when the people shall have nothing more to eat, they will eat the rich. And well, there is a lot of people with nothing to eat. <sighs> the poor cried. We are starving. There is no more bread and we have nothing to eat. The rich man said, not my problem. You don't work for your bread. As if he did not snatch away the grain by his own pretty hands and create filling bread for his own overflowing mouth. The poor cried. We are dying. There is no more medicine. And we are all ill. The rich it's man said, Not my problem you don't take care of yourselves. As for you did not buy all the medicine and raise prices so high, and the gods themselves will not be able to reach. The poor people all stopped crying. And the rich man was unsatisfied. No, and the rich man was satisfied. Until they came knocking at his door one night. Their faces were sunken, their flesh decaying, their eyes sightless. They were monsters of the rich man's own making, as they devoured his flesh. The rich man cried, Please, spare me! The ravenous zombie said, Not our fault you fattened yourself for slaughter. Very accurate. Very much what we need. Very possibly political? I don't know. The day your divergent experience is talking about your brain as if it's a separate entity from yourself. Is it not? Like, frick. It is so a separate entity for me. I am not my brain. Shut up and stop saying I am. No, my brain did not come up with the name Haku. I did. No, I'm not my brain. I'm Haku. Fantasy characters. Jeez. Me. Who the frick spread Christianity there? This two years old old ship has just gained a hundred notes. Let's who the stick doodles let's stuck it up. Me in the back of my head, every time I'd like to add where well, it's high fans settings. Everything is a minced freaking oath. You can't even say goodbye. Like because it's it's short for God be with ye. What? Oh yeah, goodbye is Apparently has a religious is freaking connotation, but that's been killed over the at least two thousand years since and, and and people were talking about that crap. I was reading a book and there was champagne. I was like, these guys don't even have France. <laughs> They don't even have friends. In moments like this, I always fall back uh, on the fact that they also aren't speaking English because they don't have England or the many languages and concrete people that contributed to the creation of the English language, and therefore the work must be translation into recognizable terms in our world's terms. Call that token and brain rot. Definitely funnier if you make fancy explanations, so. Champagne is a wizard who, spe uh, who sells bubbly alcohol. It's called English because of the original Old Lish people. All languages start with in there. French fries are not potatoes, as they're roots of the French plant. Goodbye is now short for good. would be your eye, wishing your luck seeing the pat at the head. Jesus Christ is a long dead lich who used to cause everyone problems, and we haven't stopped saying your name when things go wrong. 
the language of the Azad Valley, such a beautiful language. Google and peasant. What the heck? Someone noted me. Just to tell me they like Coke better than Pepsi, and I spent like 10 minutes making this. Coexist. What the frick? <laughs> They're so happy. I love this caption because I entirely trust it, even though it look unabatedly miserable. I mean, there's a wire right next to that white cat. I'm afraid that cat is going to chew the wire. The Lincoln assassination is really just wired if you think about it for a moment. The younger brother of one of the most famous actors in the country himself, a famous actor and heart of his own right, killed the president in a theater and yelled, Six Semper Tyrannus, a line after in, in association with Rufus, a character that his brother had famously played. Like, imagine if Liam Hemsworth killed the Prime Minister of Australia at a red carpet, and movie premiere or something, and yelled, I went for the head. And Chris had to leave the Avengers press tour to tell, to tell everyone, I swear I had nothing to do with this. Imagine how weird that would be. A whole history major, and yet this post is the first time I fully appreciate the weirdness of the Lincoln assassination. I find more weird that the a guy got was actually able to outrun the police on a broken leg for like three weeks before he got caught. It's cool they had PvP. Gonna place your personal post about your uncle relapsing to a large audience of Voltron fans. Gonna search back as far as I can into people's Tumblr to find their teenage ship it post to late is like a scarlet letter. <sighs> For whatever reason, you suddenly gain godlike powers of control over the universe. What's the first thing you do? I straight up get rid of carbon. Carbon, the chemical element in a part of which all life forms are based? That's a bitch. <laughs> Just becomes God. All life needs to die. Frick this. Gets rid of the a basic element that makes up all life. Good. Good. This is, is far better. Audio press processing disorder is just like you are going to be able to differentiate 27 different sounds having you simultaneously except for when someone's talking to you. Good luck. People think my ears are so unreleased unreasonably sensitive, I must also be able to hear them. This is false. I can hear the clock ticking though. One time I was watching the with my friends with headphones and I heard my dad open a can downstairs. I said, I can't tell what people say to me if more than one person it is talking. Yeah, what the heck? If a girl is sleepy but not cozy, she may reward you with a bounty. If you can and provide her with a source of cozy. The bounty is girl cuddles. No. The bounty. The bounty is a bunny. I love this. Haircuts are torture for autistic people. You have to sit still for an unknown amount of time while a guy drags loud buzzing metal objects across your scalp and ends with you being itchy and uncomfortable. Okay, I freaking hate haircuts as a kid because I had a really crappy step out. I didn't know I was a trans girl. I didn't know I was a trans girl because he abused me out, out, out of any ideas that I might be one. Anyway... This guy would always get me to get the worst freaking haircut. Have you ever heard of a high and tight? It's that military haircut that looks good on freaking nobody. Yeah, every freaking time I went, that's the haircut I got. I looked awful. 
No wonder I, I, I had no game. I was always looking you know, like a freaking and dude bro from the ERB. <sighs> Hang on, just gotta grab something. I need a drink after all. This is a long one. This is gonna be a fun one though. Yes, screw my model a little bit. Don't worry. This is normal for me. Anyway. A thing that bothers me about wizard schools and popular media outside of the magic grade school stuff anyway is they're typically t depicted as being basically magic universities, but their actual curricula and pedagogical approaches look much more like those of a technical institution. Like, buddy, that's not a wizard university. That's a wizard trade school. You can't just slap university student culture on top of a trade school or, or pedagogy. It, it doesn't work like that. The one emerges from the other. Well, actually, wizards are. Wizards are made up. They could be anomalous, whatever real world class or location the author wants. Wizard school's university and wizard school's technical institution are both perfectly fine. What I'm going about is wizard school or media that doesn't seem to have a clear picture of how different sorts of educational institutes actually operate. Okay, but now I really want to know what a wizard technician would look like. Would he ever? Would he wear magic overalls and all kinds of regents and magic tools sticking out of his numerous pockets? You like that walks into your tower with a toothpick in his mouth and takes one look at your seven circles and goes, "I'd see your problem. You use truck B twelve and sev S three. B twelve is only for transmutation circles. Give me a sec. I think I have a piece somewhere uh, here." He thinks that your circle test sevens an imp and goes, There you go, fit as a fiddle. Meowth found dead in, in Alola. Is he okay? Yeah, but he died. He's <laughs> okay, I guess. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is going to be amazing. My lesbian farmer GF, or as I like to call her, my crop top. My lesbian electric GF, or as I like to call her, my power bottom. Thank you for the best comment I've ever seen in my life. My gamer girlfriend, as she likes me to call her in the bedroom. My Nintendo Switch. Okay, I'm a Nintendo oh, bottom, but damn, do I love playing the Switch. It's fun. I just play with the GameCube controller, but it's so fun. Like, Joy-Cons are fun and all, but I can't because mine are freaking broken and they keep breaking. The r never freaking stays working for some reason. I've had this problem with Joy-Cons, with, with every iteration of the 3DS, every freaking time, it's the freaking R button. No other button. The R button always breaks for me. I'm going through my follower list and blocking everyone who I think is a robot. And when some of y'all don't make it easy to see if you're human or not, by first glance, I respect your SX, but also, holy fuck. You have no idea what you're up against.
Like, is this a human being, or is this a robot's approximation of human absurdity? I mean, this also brings up the whole entire neurodivergent versus AI thing. Like, I myself am autistic. I mean, it's kind of why I hate April. I don't like people being aware of me. Me specifically. I don't know autistic people. Go ahead. But just leave me alone. Do not perceive me, bitch. Anyway. Sometimes I I try to be as absurd as possible. And I don't know if I'm if I'm reaching it or not. And it's like, am I being strange enough? Am I being edgy enough? Are you having fun with how edgy I am? No, you're not. Nobody ever is. I've never or actually having fun with how edgy I am. Nicknames. When you shorten someone's aim affectionately. Nicholas names. When you elongate someone's name affectionately. Nichard. I do not like that name already. Names. When you incorrectly el elongate someone's name for humor is effect. It's like Richard, but it's Nick. It's Nick. It's Nickard. Oh no, that's even worse. No, we're, we're just continuing. That uh, that was bad. Previous part of Catholicism is uh, putting body parts of corpses on display. That's literally the funniest part. How is it creepy? Is this a bone stealing website? The bone stealing website. Tumblr or or is a chaotic website that doesn't know what they're actually talking about half the time they talk about anything. I mean, hell, even I don't know what I'm talking about half the time I talk about anything. So Musk just updated Twitter so you can't search for Twitter anymore without having a Twitter account. So that sucks. <sighs> I can't even freaking read that, but whatever. Trying to enter the URL of a search query prompts you to log in too. That is going to drop its monthly visits by a lot. Good job, Musk. You keep on breaking the site more and more. Eventually, a someone will come with a, uh, the replacement. Honestly, I'm waiting for a replacement. A good replacement for Twitter, and I am gone. Just needs a phone app. That's all it really needs. And then I'm good. Cute ocean themed bedroom where it's pitch black, the windows full of uh, fricked up shrimps and steaming hot chemical vents. The bed is a, is a whale carcass. That. That's terrifying. That is the ocean's abyss. I want the. Cute ocean aesthetic, not the terrifying part that actually terrifies me and is why I'm afraid of the ocean. Pizza Tower fans were like, yo, check out this soundtrack, it's straight up fire. I'm trying the most awesome song you will ever hear in all of video game history, and then you look up the song and it's called oh, Cheesy on My Peony. <laughs> Cheesy on My Peony, that's so funny. Alright, looks like that's the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Oh wait, I've got to actually go back to my place. There we go, back in my room. With my Switch and... Is that a tablet? Why do I have a guitar? I understand the Switch and the PS4 and the gaming chair I wish I had in real life. And even the PC. Yeah, I understand that. All the old streamer stuff. Like, I do want to try and play guitar one day, but I'm never going to be any good at it. What is that? Is that a... Is that a tablet on the far left there? No, what is that? Oh, well. I shouldn't question it too much. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel.
I'll see you tomorrow with some ERL if I don't forget to actually do it. I think I was supposed to do it today and I completely forgot. And, and until next time, goodbye!